Hello everyone, so this is the tubular quad that I designed and built from scratch. You can watch a previous video that I made on this updated version of this quad. It's in the video description. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the CAD files for this quad. So I've modeled this in Inventor and uh, go went ahead and made the files public so you guys can go ahead and take a look at them, cut this frame out if you want and try it out hopefully because uh, I really like how it flies so I really want to share the experience with you guys as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the files for this quad and I'm going to go over some notes on the design and things like that. So let's get into the video. Okay so let's go ahead and look at how we get the files. So I uploaded all these files in a zip file to Google Drive and then the link is in the video description for the shareable link so you just copy and paste that link into your browser and you should get this page right here and then what you can do is just download from there and I already have this downloaded so I'm not going to save it so you'll get this zip file right here and then go ahead and extract that and then you'll get this folder of files and then inside there I have two different files uh, one's called Autodesk because these are all the files that I basically created uh, from the start since I use Autodesk Inventor to 3D model and then I have another folder called Interchange with the uh, DXF drawings, PDFs of the drawings and then step files for the 3D files if you are using some other um, software and you want to look at the files. So let's take a look at what's in these folders. So I have the assembly open here, which I think I only included for the Autodesk uh, files. So here's the quad. It's a, just slightly different than the tube quad I have in real life and the changes I made are that the front half is 10 millimeters longer of the fuselage just to get the GoPro a little bit further forward and this mid plate here is one millimeter wider on each side because I had a pretty gnarly crash where um, it broke right here so I just added a millimeter on every side just to beef that up a little bit more. And another thing to note about this mid plate, you can see I'm using these just pretty flat M3 threaded nuts. You can also use like the press nuts uh, that require an M4 hole or four millimeter hole, but then they have a three millimeter thread. I just modeled it like this because this is how I have it in real life but you can do whatever you want um, also these standoffs they basically have to be the vibration isolating standoffs you don't want to use nylon standoffs because uh, they'll probably just strip out if you crash so these these standoffs are designed to be the um, vibration dampening ones that have them like the brass insert or whatever and I haven't had any issues with those stripping out. Um, if you're really worried about the strength of those, you can just put another um, M3 nut or those threaded inserts into the carbon. In addition, I'm still going with the flat plate epoxy to the tube. Uh, if you don't think that's strong enough, you can add a little piece of carbon like right here to kind of gusset that plate but it doesn't fail enough that I care enough to actually do it in real life so yeah that's pretty much uh, all I have to say about the design so I have all the carbon parts open here um, if we look at the different files in the Autodesk folder you can see I've also included files for all the hardware just so that you can see the dimensions of the hardware 
The drawings are one-to-one -one scale, so my idea with those is that you should be able to print them out and then just paste it on a piece of carbon plate and then just cut it out and drill the holes uh, dead nuts on so you don't have to whip out the calipers and like score a million lines everywhere, which is how I had to build it. And I also have the PDFs of those so that, oh, where do we go? I have the PDFs of those in the interchange file. And they look the same. So even if you don't have any 3D modeling software, you can still use this technique to cut out some carbon if you don't have a CNC, which I think is most of us. So yeah, that's what I have to say about the drawings. And they're fully dimensioned. Um, if I didn't include dimensions somewhere, it's because it's symmetric. So that's all I have to say about that. So that's pretty much it for all the files. Uh, let me know in the comments section if you wanna see me uh, build this quad if I ever get around to building another one. And also let me know about any uh, improvements or suggestions you have for this design because I'm only one person so I can only think of so many things that can you know fail or that can be improved. So with that said, uh, please like this video if you liked it, get subscribed if you want to see more content like this in the future, and thanks for watching.